You can celebrate the diversity of Eastern European cultures, people, and languages during the library's Journey Through Eastern Europe series beginning this fall at various library locations. Jessica Moore is the library's immigrant outreach specialist. And she's been involved in planning this series. Jessica, welcome. Tell Thank us about you. the range of programming and Journey Through Eastern Europe. Thank you, John, for having me this morning. Um, Journey Through Eastern Europe um, is a program series, of course, that focuses on exploring Eastern European culture, languages, people, the diversity that kind of falls within that. So here at the library, we're going to be offering a series of programs in dance and music and arts and crafts and even some kind of cultural kind of um, performances and workshops this okay. fall at different branches around um, and Marion County. We've done this over the years with mm -hmm. different regions of the world, mm -hmm. so it's more or less your charge to kind of move it around a little bit mm -hmm. and now celebrate Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. It is. We um, One of the things that we really think is important um, as a library is that we are, of course, a place for information. And so this really creates an opportunity for us to be able to look at the different communities that we actually have here locally that I think we don't always realize. Right. And then work with some of those communities to be able to offer programs for the public that are aimed at informing, but that can also be very entertaining for mm -hmm. their families. And there are cultural centers here in Indianapolis, uh, in Eastern European yes. uh, communities that are prominent. A absolutely. One of the things that's really important for us is to make sure that our programming is culturally accurate. So we actually work with almost like a committee of um, uh, different groups and organizations mm -hmm. that represent Eastern Europe that are actually here in Marion County. Okay. Again, the series is called Journey Through Eastern Europe. It begins in September, continues all the way through the end of the year mm -hmm. at various libraries. Let's talk about a couple of the more interesting, sure. more specific programs. One mm -hmm. that deals with underground Czechoslovakian rock. Yes. <laughs> that sounds very fascinating. It is, actually. We are actually working with um, IU Bloomington on this particular program um, with their Russian an East European Institute that's okay. actually located in Bloomington. And so it's outside of Marion County, but they have so many really rich resources that we really want to take advantage of working with them as a partner. And some of their a professor there actually um, offers this class. It's an academic course usually, and he's actually going to be modifying this class to be able to offer it to patrons. And they are going to talk about rock music from the Czechoslovak Slovak underground, how it started, and give people some examples and opportunity to kind of interact and ask some questions and things like that. And that program will be in September, so yes. check the library's website and calendar when that mm -hmm. comes up starting in September. Then mm -hmm. another one later in the year uh, that deals with the origins of vampire stories. Yes, this one also is from our partner at uh, IU Bloomington, and this program is actually going to be tracing the roots behind who can become a vampire, where did the histories and the myths come from, and things like that. Um, and actually, the, the uh, gentleman who's going to be teaching this class actually has roots and family members who are from Transylvania. And oh. so I think this is actually going to be interactive with a, a kind of hands-on workshop and being able to ask questions. So we're offering this one closer to Halloween so that the public um, has the opportunity and kind of tying it in with the rest of what's going on around that season. Well, again, there's a range of cultural programming mm -hmm. from this kind of unique uh, mm -hmm. programming to uh, arts and crafts and dance and music, as, as Jessica mentioned earlier. So mm -hmm. check the library's website. This is an exciting time for the library mm -hmm. because we're not only doing this series, but we're launching the <laughs> visits of our sister city representatives yes. to Cologne, Germany, which will take place in August. Mm -hmm. And uh, next month, or in October, two reps going to Beijing, China. So mm -hmm. this has to be an exciting time for you. It is very exciting. I think as a system, it's been very busy, um, but it's good stuff. We actually are um, ha have the opportunity to really put Indianapolis kind of on the map as being a global city, which is one of the initiatives of the mayor's office and lots of other nonprofit organizations and groups that have actually gotten on board with this in terms of celebrating who we are as a diverse and globally um, significant city. Mm -hmm. So be sure to check the library's website again and between the lines future episodes as we chart the progress of our sister city library ambassadors to the different countries and again the journey through Eastern Europe programming beginning of September. Check your local branch or the library's website for programming in that series coming up near you.